Hello, YouTube. Sir Dragon X here. Is it true that some Social Security payments are still being suspended for people living in Mexico? We're going to clarify this in the video coming up next. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about a very important topic that has been causing some concern among social security recipients living in Mexico. Yes, you guessed it right. We're talking about the suspension of social security payments due to the non-completion of forms SSA-7161 or SSA-7162. Three months ago, I did a video about how some people had their social security benefits suspended due to not filing out certain required forms. These forms are required by recipients of Social Security living outside the United States. And now, at the end of June, we're seeing this issue arise again with several members of my Facebook group reporting that their benefits have been suspended. So, what are these forms and why are they so important? The SSA 7161 and the SSA 7162 are essentially verification forms that you are still eligible to receive Social Security and that you are still alive. The SSA 7161 is for individuals who receive benefits through a representative payee, while the SSA 7162 is for individuals who receive payments in their name. In 2020, due to the COVID pandemic, the Social Security Administration suspended mailing out these forms. However, in June of last year, 2022, the suspension was lifted. This means that all Social Security recipients that have reported a foreign address must fill out one of these forms depending on your situation. Every year, the Social Security Administration mails out these forms along with a return envelope in May from the United States with a follow-up letter sent in September. There's a 60-day due date from the receipt of the form. But here's the catch. The postal system in Mexico is known for not being efficient, and many people do not receive the forms. Despite this, it is still the recipient's responsibility to file this form even if your check is deposited in a U.S. bank account. If you fail to do so, your benefits can be suspended and it can take up to 45 days to get your benefits reinstated. So my advice to you is to fill out the appropriate form by June of every year from here on out just to be safe, even if you don't receive the notice. I will be leaving a link to the form that must be mailed in, but I also advise that you email a copy with proof that you sent it to your nearest federal benefits unit here in Mexico. A list can be found on the Social Security Administration's website. Now, I know some of you might be thinking about or already use a U.S. address and have your check deposited in a U.S. bank account. But let me tell you, if you live in Mexico, Social Security regulations state that you must report your foreign address. What are the penalties and risks of doing this? Honestly, I have no idea. And more than likely, the Social Security Administration is not out actively looking for violators of these regulations. I am just advising you of the rules, nothing more. Lastly, I want to emphasize that everyone's situation is different. Many expats that immigrate to Mexico do not have a U.S. address and have their check deposited in their Mexican bank account. So let's be respectful of that when discussing this issue. Remember, I'm just here to provide information based on the official rules, and if you decide to take the risk and break these rules, that's your decision. But my advice is to stay informed and follow the regulations to avoid any complications. That's all for today's video. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions or if you want to share your experience, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Stay safe and stay informed.